Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Nate Landwehr versus Jamal Emers. I'm a big, big fan of this matchup. It was supposed to be supposed to be Pat Sabatini. Pat Sabatini pulled out. Jamal Emers steps in. I believe, yeah, Sabatini withdrew against Nate Landwehr. And Jamal Emers steps in to fight him. It's a very, very good matchup for Jamal Emers. The biggest thing for like Jamal Emers in this matchup is just kind of starting quicker because Nate Landwehr, even though he disappointed crazy against Danny Gay, which I get it, Danny Gay is good, I get it, but still, he still disappointed in that matchup. Didn't really fight like himself. Fought like there was a possibility of getting knocked out. He didn't, but he did get hurt a couple times in that matchup. But yeah, Jamal Emmers, he's very, very good. You know, he has a 74-inch reach, 3.5-inch reach advantage against Nate Landwehr. Uh, one inch taller. Again, this matchup is is so fun. You know, Nate Landwehr is 3-2 and two in his last five fights, 17-5 and five overall. Is 35 years old. He'll be 36 in a few months. Jamal Emmers is 20 and 7, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 2 and 1 in his last, in his last three. You know, and he's looked, even though to me he beat Jack Jenkins, that fight was not close. The only part of that fight that was close was that first round. And then as soon as Jamal Emmers realized he could take him down, it was over. Jack Jenkins did not win that matchup. Should be 21-6. and six. He is 34 years old. Didn't miss weight in his last matchup. Hopefully he doesn't do that again. Fought Dennis Bozucka, Bozucka, whatever that name is, and absolutely destroyed him. Absolutely destroyed him. Like I said, inch taller, three and a half inch reach advantage. This fight right here is a lot of fun because, like I said, out of 20 wins, he has 11 finishes. And I'm pretty sure yep, four TKOs in the first round, two in the second, and two in the third. So four first round finishes. Oh, uh, wait. Five total, five total first round finishes. A four by uh, four by TKO or KO, one by submission. So, and again, Nate Landwehr coming off of a loss has uh, let's see three first round finishes, has ten finishes out of seventeen fights. Again, I would say he's a little little disappointing because like you fought Austin Lingo, yeah, you beat him, cool. The Dan Ige one is rough because Dan Ige, <clears throat> because he's shorter, like uh, Pat Sabatini has a 70 and a half inch reach. Dan Ige is 71, but Nate Landwehr is taller. Dan Ige is a short, short, short man. 5'9". Dan Ige is 5'7". So yeah. Exactly. Nate Landwehr, the way that he fights, explosive, takes a shot to give a shot. Just, I understand not being reckless, but he, again, he was fighting Ige like he was waiting for Ige to connect on him and hurt him. Like he was almost in survival mode before he needed to be in survival mode. So if you don't do that against Jamal Emmers, who does have some pop to his punches, is technical from the outside, uh, and is also a good grappler, if, if, if you don't do that, and this is the guy that finished Ludovic Klein. It was his last loss to Ludovic Klein. We know how good Ludovic Klein is. But if you can't make it ugly against Jamal and make Jamal fight on the inside, you're going to lose. I like Jamal Embers in this one. I think he has some sneaky power. I think his strikey strikes are sneaky in this one. And I think his ground game will help him win this matchup. But as always... Let me know who you're picking down there in the comment section. Let's talk about it. You guys know what it is. Peace.